Hello, Murray Newlands here at South by Southwest in Austin with Jonathan from US Today. What are you doing at this conference? I'm running around from meeting to meeting, doing as many interviews as I can and trying to oversee a group of 12 to 15 reporters and videographers and social media people cover this as well as we can, which is impossible by the way. Okay, so you're a tech startup, you're coming to a tech conference. How do I grab your attention? How do I get media coverage? Well, if I'm a startup, I don't come here. Okay. Um, if, I, if I'm a startup, I, I try to find a more kind of vertically inclined show that is specifically geared to what they're doing. Right. Kind of a smaller scale, something that's focused on where they're coming from. Here it's, this, this is probably as hard to get attention as CES because there are hundreds of companies all grabbing at us at the same time and at the, they're competing with the larger guys. Your editors want a story from Facebook or something like that to grab the attention. And if you're a small startup, you're just not going to get in that limelight. Is that right? Right. I'll, I'll be very honest with you. Um, 80 to 90% of the stories we do for our paper and online and the videos we do are based on what six companies do. Right. You know, it's a very small group. However, we do have somebody who's starting to write on startups. And I actually want that person to kind of circulate and try to find as many as they can. So for instance, Secret, which is getting a lot of attention, when we wrote about that, the amount of um, interest in that story was incredible. You know, something different. I mean, everybody wants to know what the next big thing is. That's right. that as a startup, that's what you want to sell. Something that's unique, something that could be big, something that might be tied to funding or tied to somebody who's well known. That will help you more than anything else. Um, we're always looking for rising stars because we spend so much time writing about the same old people, the same companies all the time. That's that's so that's the issue. The, problem is finding it yeah. like you're, you're searching through this haystack you know, where is that golden nugget you know somewhere in there so that's part of the challenge and uh, if they've got something that is a cracking story how do they actually contact you you know actually I'm pretty good I actually answer my phone I'm okay. one of the few reporters who actually picks up my phone um, I get a lot of pitches for Facebook LinkedIn I never, I never answer email on LinkedIn. I, for some reason, I just don't. But I get a lot of uh, attention from Facebook and Twitter. And you know what? I will follow up on it. So I probably, be sure. I probably shouldn't have said that. But let's say I am a startup um, halfway across the world in India, and I, I want to get your attention. Do I have to come to San Francisco, or can I? I can do it virtually. You can do it virtually. Yeah. There's no, there's no way we can cover all these companies yeah. from around the world. And you know, it's probably preferable to do it from a distance. Okay. I mean, we, we get inundated with people trying to do face-to-faces and we t time we can't we just don't have yeah. the, the time constraints makes it really difficult it's easier to do a phone interview than it is to do a demo in a one-on-one -on -one. those are time consuming plus the, most startups want you to go visit them on site yeah. so they, they assume that we can do an hour to two hours with them and there's so much pressure on us to produce copy especially breaking news now that we we're trying to uh, maximize our time management Right. That's always been a problem. That's yeah. a bigger problem now than ever for any reporter. You're trying to slot in everything you do during a day to feed the beast at the same time as trying to find something that's unique. So that's the challenge. And you're saying you're managing a team of reporters. What's that like? Well, well, there's a couple of us doing it, but it's, it's going to be good. It'll be good here. So we have a live show um, that we're doing every day. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, for half an hour. Right. Um, we have two people from social media who are out here for the first time yeah. uh, covering as many panels as they can. We have a bunch of reporters. We have a lot of video we're going to do. Um, it's, it's exciting because it's a multimedia approach, which we didn't always do. Right. Um, at CES, we started doing that this yeah. year. I think it's good. I think the more video we do, the better. And I think the faster we turn stories around, the better, because the cycle of stories has never been shorter, and there are more outlets than ever before. So you're trying to just throw as many things out there as possible. Hopefully they're unique, and hopefully they draw the audience. And who's the person who's dealing with those uh, smaller businesses? So I think each of us kind of take turns. You know, it, dep okay. it depends on your beat. So, I mean, all of us, in a sense, should be talking to right. the startups. It's just harder. I mean, that's, it's, so, it's so difficult because there's so many of them and there are a lot of good ones. Yes. And they get lost in the noise. Yeah. And at the same time, there's a lot of pressure for us to write about the big guys. Right. So, ideally, if you're a, if, if you're a startup and you get a, an investment from one of the big guys, then we're going to jump all over it. Okay. Um, so, you know, no one wrote, wrote, few people wrote about Snapchat or a few people wrote about WhatsApp until those things happen. It's, it, 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 it's very strange. Um, and they're hot and cold startup companies Definitely. that we, get, we give a lot of attention to, then we just lose our interest. So, yesterday's star, or today's star is yesterday's, you know, has been, so to speak, and there are others. 
the no-name company of today becomes the hot company of tomorrow. You're, you're making it sound like I'm, I'm uh, releasing a pop record. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's actually a really good analogy because, in a sense, you want to create a pop star, right? Right. And um, sometimes there's a look and a feel that is different than others, and they come from nowhere. They become stars, and and they have to, once they become stars, there's all the pressure to continue to be a yeah. star. And once you're not, you drop off the radar. Somebody else takes your spot. Right. That is a that's a very I've never thought of it that way. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to use that in a story. Fantastic. Hopefully, credit me. Uh, I may. Maybe. Maybe not. John, thank you very much. Have a Thanks great show. It. Thanks a lot. Murray Newlands at South by Southwest. I'll see you next time.